All right, so this is what it is. Ryan was counting me dead on the last hole. He was like, bro, give up now. Mikey's stabbed in I mean, the I've shower. Only, I've only lost Got one hole. Got stabbed in the shower. I've only lost one hole, Bleeding everywhere. Dude, come on, here we go. Come on. This one's for the captains. I got 158. You got 158. With wind in the face. Just a second ago, it was 160. All right, here we go. New episode of Pin High. We got Sean Malto. We're at Rustic Canyon in Moore Park. Probably like top 10 courses in California. If you haven't played here, you got to play here. Top, here we go. Top 10 in Los Angeles for sure. Fine. I'll yeah, take you that. Got, you can't forget Pebble and. Bro, Robert I feel like this is top five in LA. This in LA. Fire. Oh, in LA for sure. All right. Yeah. Um, okay, so the deal today, what, 25 a hole? 25 a hole. Five par threes. Is there five here? Yep. And then winner gets to pick the. I, dude, the last two I've been on crypto. Really? Yeah, and they've got cryptos at a rally. But today I think I'm back in the market. I don't, I, I don't do crypto. Okay. I'm I mean, I, I will. I guess I'll take a free whatever, but. I'm going digital. I'm changing my mind. I want more crypto. I'm going to just go Bitcoin. I'll take some Bitcoin today. Bitcoin? I'll go Ethereum. Okay, too easy. Oh, Mike and I played this, and I posted it late to my channel. And when we played, Bitcoin was at like 35. And you know, it's at like north of 60 right now. 35,000? Yeah. For one? Yeah, and so he's doubled his investment off me from pin high. It's been three months, two months. That's what you can do with the power investing. What do you think? It's 160. Okay, 160, I'm gonna hit a seven iron. I'm gonna hit 175, I think. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go back to my bag here. This segment has been just like an emotional roller coaster for me. I, I felt all the highs, all the lows. I watched last week's episode with Jordan. And dude, I, was, I looked promising. Two holes, like I looked like a golfer. Then it fell apart. Today, if I beat Sean, if I beat Sean on camera. How many of these have you done? This is our fifth. How many have you won? One. You're one for five. <laughs> I, and I tied one. It's a little right. It's kind of drawing. Thought that wind was gonna take it a little bit more. It didn't? You felt like it was long? No, no, I, I, it's just off to the right a little bit. What'd you hit, a seven? I had a seven. All right. I almost hit a six. Really? But you're longer than I am. No, I think seven, the number, right? I mean, it's the thing's called pin high. You better get it there. <laughs> All right, good. That looks really good. Let's go. Look at this, man. You stop golfing, you get upset, just create a golf channel. You create a golf channel, now I'm chasing scratch. Let's go, boys. We're in Moore Park in, like, the valley. It gets windy here. This is actually a hard course because of the wind. So if the audio is scratchy and my voice isn't coming off just dialed, that's, that's a God issue, not me. Basically, we hit into 30 mile an hour wind on this hole, so little Bro. flighted Bro. seven irons. I feel good right now. I feel like a golfer. I got you. I gotta carry this energy all the way out. All the way to 18. All right, Sean. I bet Didn't break. Is that Staying good? Kind of straight, huh? Yeah, you're fine with that. Never putt again. <sighs> Dang it. That's good. All right. So no blood on the first. No blood on the first. I, I got I away with it. I went for it. What's crazy is I met you when you were a kid. Were you Am yet or were you Flo when I met you? I was Am. Okay. Staying at your house as an amateur. Okay, and now. 2007? 2007, and now yeah. you've outdone me as far as a pro career goes. So I know what it felt like for me. What I want to know that's for you so, is. That's, yeah, that's a wild stat, but yeah, what do you want? What does it feel like to have been pro that long? Like being the kid when I met you, and then now like, you, you know, You've been doing this a long time. Like, what's it, how is it different? You know, you know what, it, 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 it never f stops feeling like you're the kid, almost. I know. It's I a know. weird one. I know. Like, and then I look around, I'm like, oh fuck, I, I'm the old guy in the van. But, uh, you know, mentally, I still feel like I'm like young. Yeah, I do too, that's the crazy part. But maybe I hang out with a lot of older people as well, because <laughs> I still hang out with Paul. No. I think that's a normal but thing. But is that I think just like always, how skating works? I think works? you always feel young. Like I still feel like I'm 18. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm 40. Are you 40? With four kids, <laughs> you know? It's crazy. Like Jen and I, like a, a late night for us is like 10.30. 
I'm still cha-cha lounge till two, but I feel young and I feel good. But I also feel like if all my sponsors were like, we're not going to pay you anymore, I'd be like, I guess that makes sense. Is oh, that a weird thing? It was not, I was not there mentally. Uh, no, I was I'm like, like, what the heck? Are you kidding me? I know, I know. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready. It, my whole thing was this. I'm not ready for it to end. I think it was that was one. And two, I thought there was going to be like a retirement party. Yeah, yeah. Celebrate my, you no, know. It's yeah. like it's so it egotistical. Ends, but huh? It just ends. You got to be like, what? You got to be like Derek Jeter or LeBron James to get that farewell tour. Yeah, yep, yep, just, how yep. How do you get there? Yep, I know, I know. 220, wind at face, three iron. Let's go. You're gonna cut it in. I'm gonna try to. Hit it, wind. Yeah, it's fine, it's not a bad spot. All right. Gosh, that's a lot of wind. Did that trip you out with the wind? I mean, I, mine's front edge of the green. Jeez, that is scary. All right, let's just do this. Four right! Four right! Four! All right, damn. Yeah. So... I got it. You got it? Is it vice? Yep. In the cactus. Man. Just straight down on it. I mean, that was kind of all I could do, right? That's pretty good. That's really good. What a, of course I get stuck in the cat. Who does cactus in Moore Park? What is that? Mikey kind of made me nervous with that little chip shot. Yeah, I'll take that. It broke a lot more than I thought. It's not breaking. Bogey. That's a bogey? Yeah. That's a bogey? Uh-huh. How? One, One, two, three, four. That's a bogey. And this is a bogey putt for you're me. You're putting for bogey, yeah. So you gotta make this to tie. Wow. Oh. I thought I hit the oh. putt. I thought I hit the putt. All right, you're up 50. Most people have a career that's more like a flash. Like, they're here, they make an impact for four years, and then by six, they're gone. H how do you think, like, you should, like, how did you go so long? Or, or what would you say for, like, a new kid coming up who wants to go longer than 10 years? Uh, from a, like, from a pro skateboarder brand, compete all of that side. Okay. Being consistent as a person. Right. I feel like being cool to everybody, being respectful, Showing up. Showing up, just making sure, you know what I mean? Like, whole, like uh, just being a good person. And I know that sounds easy, but people blow that all the time. Yeah, and it's okay. a crazy thing. I think longevity all comes from just like, you're cool with everybody, you help people out, and I think that gets reciprocated. Do you think complaining plays a part of that? Remember, I, do you think complaining plays part of it? Because I used to complain all the time. You know, you knew me when I was young. Yeah, but you I, can, But there's complaining, but and then there's complaining about the right things sometimes. You know what I mean? But like, complaining about like, fuck, why are we going skating again today? You're like, well, that, this is what we're here to do. You know what I mean? Right. You would complain about like cracks. I hated cracks. Yeah, I hated cracks. Absolutely hated cracks. Um, yeah, but you complain about tricks. You didn't complain about people. So what? What do you think about this? Do, were you ever mindful of like maxing out what you could do? Like. You know, you were had the best, one of the best front crooks and over crooks. Were you like, okay, I'm here now. I'm gonna try to do the biggest hand I could possibly do and cap it at 18. Or would you like, okay, I'm gonna front crook Hollywood 16, and then three years later, I'm gonna front crook, I don't know, pick a 17. And nah, then... I always try to do what I could do when I could do it. <laughs> I feel it. Always. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice swing. Little to the left. Let's go, Mikey. All right, let's go. Stop the bleeding. Let's, let's go. go. Stop the bleed. Mikey's stabbed in I mean, the I've shower. Only, I've only lost Got one hole. Got stabbed in the shower. I've only lost one hole, Bleeding everywhere. Dude, come on. Here we go. Come on. This one's for the cactus. Looks good. Come on. You know I'm not going to stay down. Come on. You know I'm... What's a Survivor song? That's easy. Play a Survivor song in the background right now. 
I'm a survivor. <laughs> Just gotta put a little pressure on you, that's all. Nice shot. How does it break that way? <sighs> oh shit. Dang! Oh shit. Dang, what was that? What the? I didn't hit it. Oh my god. Bogey. All right. <sighs> down 25? Down 25, Let's down go. one. What about like planning for afterward? Like you've been really good about saving money, investing money. Like what was your outlook there? My aunt was a business consultant for McDonald's. And so at a young age, she was like, you need to set up retirement programs. Um, she was like, you're not going to make money forever. So she instilled that in me at a young age. So I never lived like outside of my means. I always just tried to save as much as I could. So retirement plans were like something you to totally was f were familiar with when you were young. I maxed my SEP, which simplified employee pension plan, right? Yeah, so I, I, I maxed my SEP out when I was 16. Dang. I've put... I've put every 50 year. grand in there every year since I was 16. That's so awesome. Yeah. Um, That's so awesome. And it was just, I, I was just like, oh, this is what I should do. One, two, because I didn't need any money. I was 16. All I was doing was skating, right. eating Burger King. And, and dude, say, did you feel like the, the pressure to start spending more as you got older? Or were you always able to, like, maintain this threshold of income here and then living off this? Do, you know what's funny is I've never really felt the pressure of spending money until actually the, the last two or three years. It gets harder in your 30s. I'm like, I just, you know, then yeah. you like, you wanna buy a car, you wanna buy a house, you wanna like yeah. go on vacations. I don't know, I think skating just slows down a little bit and then you have more time to do things and then you whatever, you, you know, I found a, a, a girl that I love, you know, we're together and now we wanna do these things. and then, Traveling. Exactly, and, and I'm like, fuck. It's expensive out there. Yeah. Also, I, also, LA is just so expensive in general anyways that yeah. it's hard to kind of like, I don't know. Yeah. All right, so this is what it is. Ryan was counting me dead on the last hole. He was like, bro, give up now. I took it. I'm now down 25. This you're is the last 25. hole. 25. So I'm either going even. even 25 or you're or going 50. up 50. Right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Let's get this player. Uh, 136 playing 141, and it's your tee box. Are you going to hit a pitching wedge or a nine? I, I, I want to see what your ball does first. My initial reaction is a nine because I feel like well, the dude, wedge. If you go will short spin. on this one, it yeah. sucks. If you hit a full so tee, nine. it should spin off that. All right, so soft nine. Bro, we give Ryan shit because we were in Arizona a couple years ago and we were betting. And there was a hole that was, <laughs> oh, the camera's down. Oh, what do you know? The camera's down. We were in Arizona, right? And we we're, we we're betting and we we're on like a long par three, like a 210. And I'm walking up with my four iron. I look, Ryan's got like a nine iron. I'm like, what are you doing? And he goes, bro, money's on the line. I'm laying up. <laughs> you laid up? Did you win the hole? He parted, it, but on a layup? <laughs> I've seen you Tim and Gavin I, do that for you and I are games. two club difference, just period, man. Oh, Our fours are two club difference, you know what I'm saying? Smart. I mean, it's. It's going right. Catch a piece. Oh, short. That was a great nice. shot. That was so close to being bad, though. <laughs> All right. A big putt. A big, long putt. It's got to be going towards Sean, right? It has to be coming towards me. Yep, it was up there. Uh, got to finish that out on the putt out. All right, G. I think that's you, right? Um, it's definitely me. $50 putt. I've been here before, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me that wasn't close. That Tell was me that wasn't close. Almost slipped out. You have always been known as like a happy guy. Like everyone loves you. Everyone likes hanging out with you. Do you have to work on that? 
Like, like what is the, what do you think the secret to being happy is? I don't have to work on it. Uh, but I've also like, I haven't had a very hard life. You know what I mean? Um, like I've fell in love with skating at a young age. I was lucky enough for that to become my profession. Uh, and I was able to make a career out of that. So um, for me, I just felt like everything, I like, haven't had much to complain about. Um, okay, so- Granted, I get in moods, of course. Everybody gets pissed off about something. Okay, I hear um, you on that. But let's look at it this way, right? There's a lot of skaters that we know. There's a lot of athletes in general that have awesome lives, right? Yeah. You also snapped your ankle, couldn't skate for a long time, so you had to go through that. Yeah. What's the last injury you had? Uh, Is that the biggest one? That was by far the biggest one. I mean, that was like a two-year injury. Were you happy through that? Um, you know what? I would say I was happy, but I was nervous. Right. I was scared. I don't know. Is that the same thing? Is I wasn't like uh, I wasn't like pissed off. I wasn't right. like fuck this. I was just like uh, I think I can come back from this. That was my mentality. Right. Um. And I was just trying to get through it that way. I yeah, think fear is normal. Fear is normal. Yeah, and there's more fear as I get older, actually. Right. You know what's funny about skating and, and about mindsets? And as I was a kid, jumping down shit and didn't really care. I, I'm thinking about family more than ever, which is a crazy feeling. Yeah. I was skating the rail with Nyjah yeah. yesterday, and Nyjah was doing anything you wanted to do, jumping down, all good, whatever. And right. I was rolling up to switch crooks, which I can switch crook the rail. Right. It's not that hard of a trick. But I was like, damn, if I fall or hit my head or if something happens, like, what does that mean going forward as like, I wanna like have kids and I wanna take care of a family and I wanna do these things. And that's been a really awkward feeling. It is, wait till you have them. I know. When you have kids, like I, well, I was still skating when I had a Scarlet and Amelia and it was harder to get yourself to jump off stuff. I was like, Because what? it's not because just me that, no. that suffers now, yeah. you know? I know, that is that is one hard thing about getting older. You get more responsibility, and then it means more to miss. Yeah, I just feel like I have things I wanna get to in my life. Sometimes I feel like if I get hurt, if I fuck myself up, I'm not gonna get to those things. I know. You know? Yeah, you start to really value time and life in general. <laughs> Straight up. Here's our jam up. I have to. I'd be in the car in 15 minutes. That's what I'm saying. They're Do you slow play as it hell, out? so we skip them. They're finishing. Um, I, th I say we finish it out. All right, let's try it out. Let's finish that out. All right. Oh, I'm gonna be in the sand. Is there sand over there? Yeah. He's with me. I'm with you. All right, let's go get out of the sand. Wow, what a bad swing. Shut. What do you guys, well, I guess it's a, no, this is a waste bunker, right? Okay. <laughs> I don't really have much here. Are you, you're allowed to ground your club on a waste bunker, right? Yeah. All right. I mean, Not I can't bad. be mad at that. No, I can't. Oh. <laughs> that was a full D cell. That was close though. I kind of lucked out. It could have been a lot worse. All right, Ryan. It's got to be out there, right? And let it funnel into the right. Oh, not high enough. You want me to put this? You good on this one? You're good. All right. So I'm in bogey. So you make this. You take it. Oh my God, I left it set. All right. Now, I started this thing off saying I wanted to win. I lost, I lost 25. 25. But you know not what? Bad. I kind of look like a golfer today. I'm actually taking this as a W. I kept up with my guy. Look, Sean you Malto, if you guys don't know, what are you handicap, a four? I'm a five. A five? You know, I kind of held my own. I'm out here losing to P-Rod, who's a 30 handicap. You lost the P-Rod? Bro, <laughs> it was not good. It was not good. You lost the P-Rod? So you know what? Giving you 25 bucks of E, that's actually a win for me. Wait, 25K? $25. Oh. $25.